Okay, um, so uh, this short presentation will be about a brand new project. It is a project that is not exclusively for one group of people, it's not for Poles only, Americans only, it's for, for everybody, and it's uh, for, uh, most of all, the Liberty Lovers. And uh, it's called the Liberty Hub. And um, Liberty Movement, I think you will all agree, it's growing. We see more and more people involved in different freedom-oriented organizations. Oh, you can see some of the names. This is just selection. And they are in Europe. In Europe we have especially booming liberty movement. Um, think tanks that are involved in public policy, youth groups such as Students for Liberty or in Poland Koliber Association. Uh, there are different groups that are focusing on education solely. There are even uh, networking groups like Atlas um, uh, and many, many more. So that is very good. I, I'm, I'm definitely in favor of this growth. But uh, the number of programs and projects is really hard to browse. It's, I mean, spontaneous order is definitely the answer, but sometimes it's good to find a solution to navigate better in this beautiful chaos, right? And we uh, want to address this issue with the Liberty Hub. Oh, you can see on this beautiful presentation made by Pavel that the Liberty Hub is a digital solution and it's something you can browse on your laptop, smartphone, um, iPad, and uh, this is something that will have a number of different features. You can uh, see the beauty of the Liberty Network here. Uh, this is just a presentation how it can work. It's a demonstration. You can see uh, different uh, events that are happening in the freedom movement. Conferences, seminars, liberty camps, um, students for liberty conferences, big conferences such as FICON. You can find information about opportunities for students, scholarships, there's so many of them. Um, internships, even uh, work open, job openings. Um, we basically identify a problem. The problem is the high fragmentation of the information within the liberty movement. Um, basically you need to open dozens and dozens of websites to keep track on this. Uh, and even taking this particular event. I was running one of, out of two scholarship funds. It was called Arizona Freedom Scholarship Fund. It was funded by two wonderful ladies from the great state of Arizona. But you needed to be lucky actually to find this website, conference.fundaciavip.org, or be a friend of uh, Chris Lingle who was promoting it very nicely, or a few other friends who also shared. But you needed to be lucky, let's be honest, right? Um, scroll, the, search the web in the good time, not to uh, miss the deadline. Why don't we have a place where you can find these opportunities uh, in, one, in one area? All these scholarships, like this, the one I mentioned, uh, programs such as Liberty International programs, LLI programs, Freedom Entrepreneurship Foundation uh, and this will help us to um, tackle, to challenge these problems I mentioned. Uh, we can this way promote our allies, uh, we can make planning easier, we can reach more people also not here, not only here the ones inside the movement but also outside the movement this is crucial, right? This is important. We don't want to just talk to each other. We love talking to each other, but we want to talk to people outside as well. Um, and uh, we want to do it the modern way. We want to be present in social media, and we want to make it beautiful with great graphics. Uh, and it is possible. So basically, we can achieve these goals through 
making our network stronger, this website will have a directory, directory of um, organizations dedicating for freedom, economic freedom, individual freedom, or the ones who are promoting both of them as well. Um, they can announce what they do in their activity, they can post information, they can publish things. Um, so the network of liberty-oriented structures will find a one hub. That's why the name is the Liberty Hub. And um, you can also, using this new platform, you can self-submit information. For example, if you uh, know about something that might be, might be potentially really interesting for the freedom movement, and if this is, for example, university in, I don't know, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. And this university is not in the freedom network yet, because it's not freedom university. So it's not uh, posting itself. But you are libertarian and you know about this. You can self-submit the information. In Ulaanbaatar, they are having a great conference promoting freedom in um, freedom in uh, freedom of speech, for example. So we want this platform to have multiply different functions, not only one function. And we want also to create additional feature, which will be a blog or a, a space. Maybe that's a better word for young writers, young creators. And it's a place for aspiring, liberty-minded creators such as journalists, writers, filmmakers who will be able to publish their content and we are not like CNN or BBC or something that you send to us and we ignore no, we want it to be a place to promote these young creators, the young uh, the young talents, let's, let's name it that way um, and uh, uh, in our network, Language of Liberty Institute network we already do have uh, mentors who declare they want to help young people to master their skills. One of them is Marina, um, who also declared that she's happy, ready to help the young writers, young talents. She's already doing it with some Africans. But we can have a new platform to promote these wonderful talents. Uh, gamification scheme. Um, we, as uh, freedom lovers and realists, we believe also in uh, incentives. Uh, people need incentive to actually open a certain website. Of course, I already mentioned some of these incentives, like to have this bank of information with scholarships, internships, events, it's already something cool, right? Not to open dozens of websites. But we want to give you more. Gamification, so basically, uh, if you are a, um, a user of Liberty Hub, you attend a program uh, that is posted there, which is promoted, you collect Liberty Points. And these Liberty Points you can use for other things, such as uh, discounts for events, such as uh, uh, digital certificates, um, such as maybe in the future, um, also special deals for businesses that are created by libertarians because libertarians not only uh, study liberty and uh, read books they are also active in different spheres of economy and why do they need to hide this? Uh, let's make them open about this some of them run pizzerias some of them run insurance companies others are Bitcoin lovers like Arthur and uh, very active in that field. Um, uh, others are in media production. Uh, they can join this network and uh, people like supporting others like-minded. This platform will allow this. This platform will allow and this also has a social factor. If you travel to certain place you want to meet other freedom lovers and right now it's pretty hard. You need to write to many people and they don't have time often to respond to you. But maybe thanks to such a platform it might be easier to find uh, the, the, the brothers and sisters in liberty.
Okay, um, so we also think about further expansion, such as business partnerships and um, uh, such as uh, more social factors. Maybe in the future also a place where a young or older, doesn't matter the age, uh, where you can find uh, a soulmate, who knows. But this is a, this is, this is a, a, a question of expansion. We want to start with the Liberty Hub that will concentrate, I know freedom lovers don't like the, the word like concentration or so on, but if this is done not by government, it's not necessarily bad, right? <laughs> a, a place that can help you to navigate the liberty movement. This is what we want to achieve. But this uh, today is the first time you hear about it. We have not yet um, published any information about Liberty Hub. So this is the premier, global, worldwide premier of Liberty Hub. Uh, the, the project is not yet built. It's uh, right now conceptual, conceptual stage. But it has a team. Pavel Pivovar is the, the main, will be the main executor. Uh, but I am also involved, Glenn Kripe, the president of LLI, is involved in this project and hopefully more people in the future. Uh, but we need you guys, because we don't do it for ourselves, we do it for you and others, your friends, your Liberty colleagues from your countries. So we really, really look forward to your follow-up. Um, after the conference is finished, I will send you emails. In these emails, there will be a link to survey. Pavo created a survey in which you can share your opinion about Liberty Hub, and um, there will be some very concrete questions uh, that can help us to build a better tool. Because, as I mentioned, this is uh, not we are not doing it for ourselves. We do it for you uh, and other brothers and sisters in Liberty. So, I want to thank you, uh, and I'm afraid we don't have time for any questions, but Martin? So maybe yes? some questions during the coffee break. Maybe the questions will arise during the coffee yeah. break, so I'm happy to take them, but uh, thank you for now, and enjoy the coffee.